Hello everyone, I'm D Mind, Mind of One and All, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of the Doll Stories. So, remember when I said I was looking for unique and interesting games to play? Well, I haven't given up yet. And, I've, and ever since then, I've been searching and I'm quite happy I came up with a few. So, the first one here is the Doll Stories. And also to mention, most of the games, if not all, are short games. So, it should be are fairly short, so it should be done in like 3 or 4 or 5 parts I think. I don't know, I haven't played them so I can't really say for sure. But this is the door story. So first up, this game is free and I'll leave a link in the description. And it's also kind of incomplete. So apparently there's a lot of problems during development and... The female doll is... Um, the route for the female doll is incomplete apparently. Kind of shame. But you can do the males path. So I guess that's alright. So if you don't know the doll stories, well, the plot is you get a magical doll. You get to raise a magical doll that's kind of like a human and then you... Yeah. It's, I'm not too sure about the plot myself. So you raise a magical... you get a magical doll and you can raise him and... Also this is a text policy game. If you don't know what that is, it's a game um, where you actually type the commands into the game and the the game will read through its vocabulary system read your what you type in the game and perform the various actions like enter the cave it will read enter and cave and it will perform such actions so let's check the options menu all right got full screen of window this is a visual novel so i don't expect resolutions i guess but full screen window fine transitions or none fine text speed auto forward I'll just leave them like that. I don't want to mess with it yet. Skip syntax or auto syntax. Um, choices. Pause skipping or continue skipping. And I'll just leave it. I'm not sure what that means. And then we got the music and sound. Alright, we do start a bit and without further ado, let's go into the game, shall we? Please enter your name. Alright. I am Demon. In this world, there is a special kind of doll that can be infused with magical energy and so brought to life. Only the rich and powerful, as well as members of the government, are privy to such dolls. Oh no, I didn't read. Hey, d Um, okay. I heard that you are going to be a puppeteer this time today. Congrats, man. I always knew you'd join our bank someday. Um, so what's your great about being a puppeteer? Hang on. Let's go to option menu. I wanna reduce the volume a bit more. Quite loud. Alright, this is fine. So when are you meeting your new partner, huh? What's that? Today? Then what the heck are you loitering around me here for? This may be where you clock in for work, but does it look like we have dolls for sale? Remember, doll ceremonies are held at the temple. You need to speak to one of the priests once you get there. Alright, so what's so special about being coming a puppeteer? What what, ha what happens? I've got some work to do in the city, so I can't come with you, but the temple is right next door. You won't get lost without me, will you? Well then, toodaloo. Don't be nervous, though I probably shouldn't be saying that to you with all the sleep I lost the night before I met Gil. <laughs> Alright, make sure you introduce me to your partner later, yeah? You hear? Melinda leaves the area in high spirits as always. You leave for the temple. Alright. Also, one thing to mention, this game is actually in proper full screen. Not many visual novels actually have this kind of setting, so I'm really grateful for it. Ah, ah you must be D-Mine. Welcome to the temple, and congratulations. We have been eagerly anticipating your arrival. You may choose either a male or female companion. Which doll would you like? I heard the female doll's route is incomplete. So, but I, I plan to do both though. Alright, since the male one is complete, we'll do, save him for last. We'll just do the female, I guess? Oh, confirm. Alright, and I see that. You selected the female doll. Yeah, I get my waifu. Already. Spirits of earth and water, form the woman. O water, fill this vessel with purity and serenity. 
so that its heart and mind are clear, O earth, bless it with mercy and compassion. Let it be steady, strong, and ever-growing. Rise, clay vessel, and be a living child. Well, where is this place? Who am I? Wait, I can't even remember my own name. Oh no, have I lost all of my memories? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Dear me, please calm yourself, oh child of clay. That you have no recollections of anything is only natural. For you are a newborn doll. Huh? You must not fret. Henceforth, you will be able to color your life with all kinds of memories along with this soldier. This is your master, whom you shall serve until life's breath, until life's last breath is drawn from either of your lips, and death consumes your being. Damn. So do I, do I get the name of? My, my master. It would not do for you to remain nameless. D mine, why don't you give her a name? Oh god god damn it. Oh, I I'm terrible with names. I mean yeah, I've got my own name, but Hmm. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna pick some random English names. So Melinda. Alright, you be Melinda. You look like a Melinda. Boy am I going to regret that decision later on. My name is... Melinda. Hehe. <laughs> wait, no wait, that's her boy, the priestess. Hehe. <laughs> what an earnest child you are. We have no doubt that you will grow into a splendid fighter and do our country proud. Wait, fighter? They're gonna fight for? For me? For us? Before you leave these grounds, d mine, would you like to know more about dolls? Um, yeah, sure. Your new partner is a magical doll. What sets magical dolls apart from the rest is their ability to come to life much like young, young Melinda has become. Now, Melinda is still young, and in her present state she is no different from ordinary humans like you and I. However, showered with care and nurtured with understanding, she will grow to develop mastery over the elements and become a formidable warrior. You must care for this doll in the way that you would for any child. They require nourishment, company, and discipline. They do not require the same sustenance as a human would. However, for they are ultimately but clay vessels. Instead, what they thrive upon are your thoughts and feelings for them. For these dolls, magic is their lifeblood, and magical power comes from within you. If they are treated with kindness, with patience, and with affection, they will become your best friend. They shall complete you, and you complete them. And what if I'm not um, kindness and compassionate and all that? What becomes of them? That is all the guidance we can offer. Remember, just as a seedling needs the, the sun to grow, so will this child need your care and attention in order to fully nature, mature. To this girl, you are the sun. That is quite the responsibility, but we are confident that you will rise to the occasion. Alright, I got... I got... Um... I wouldn't say a waifu then. I got a daughter? Damn. I grew up so fast. Should you encounter any problems, please do not hesitate to return and speak to us. We wish you two the best, the very best of luck. Let your journey together be blessed and fruitful, and may the spirits protect and illuminate you on the road ahead. All right, I like this game already. After leaving the temple grounds, you and Melinda arrive at the town square. It is bustling with people from all walks of life. Oh wow! Look at this place. There's so many. There's so many people here. They're all dressed in all kinds of colors and clothes. What's going on, D-Mine? What is this place? Um, Keywords Town Square. Alright, so I guess... Oh boy. So I have to actually type words. Oh great. Yeah, I can't even type properly now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, don't put me on the spot now. This is the Town Square. A Town Square? Keywords Public Space People Gather Freely. Alright. I so have to actually. Oh damn! Why you have to make me type words? All right, it is a public place. <sighs> Where? I guess I just follow the words, the keywords down there. A place for people to gather freely. All right, so I guess that's like a tutorial is starting me out. Maybe they won't- I mean it would be too easy to keep giving me all the keywords to answer. 
Oh, that sounds exciting. What an exciting place. I can't believe places like this exist. So is this where we are going to live from now on? No. Why would I type yes? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Huh? Why not? Because this is a public. Public place. Uh, public space. What do you mean? You can't live here because it's a public space? It's inappropriate? Well, they're giving me the answers already, so... I wonder if I can turn this off, and then I try to answer with my best... I can. You mean, if we do that, we'll get scolded? Yep. By whom? Um... I wonder what point if I touch. Now, I'll just follow what the keyword says for now. Wait, can I turn that off though? It'd be, it'd be really interesting if I could. Um... No, I, I don't think I can. Oh, okay, turn. By whom? Everyone. Everyone? Everyone will get angry if we live here? That's such a shame. So where can we go? To a private space. I see. We can't live in a public town square, but we can... But we have a private town square for ourselves, huh? No. We don't? Did I misunderstand? People don't live in town squares. You know, why do I have to type? I'm just so far just following the keywords down there. Hopefully this game doesn't keep giving me all the answers. It'd be quite boring that way. Really? So we're going to be Vagabonds? Ah! There are lots of people who are gathering in that direction. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to over take a look, be mine. Wait. Wait for me. Ignoring your call, Melinda has started to run in the direction of the marketplace. You try to catch up. Alright. I'm liking this game already. <laughs> but hopefully I get to answer and then we'll see what happens, like without actual guidance with the keywords. Wow wow, there are even more people and things here. Well, what's going on? What is everyone doing? Oh boy, oh boy. Is that cat? Oh, kitty. What? What? What the heck is that? Did she just hurt the thing? Like kick it? Um, it's looking at me. You're looking at me, right? Ah! Um, oh no, I, I don't understand what you're saying. And you probably don't understand me either. Um, uh, um. No! Why are you running away? Did I say something bad? I said something bad, right? But, but I didn't mean to. Wait up! Alright, now she's chasing after the freaking cat. Ah! Gah! Oh no, Doug! What blazes? Watch where you're going, you little... Hmm? Eep! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, are you okay? He look okay to you? Look at my friend, he's hurting so much! Oh, moan. Oh, my poor arm. What? What? What's wrong with him? Is he okay? Damn, it looks pretty bad. I reckon you broke his arm, Missy. What are you going to do about that? Huh? I... I broke his arm? Uh, hey, not so loud. I broke his arm. So he can't use his arm anymore now. Is he going to die? Well, that's an interesting reaction to the duck. What's going on? Is someone's arm broken? That big guy got his arm broken by the little girl? Are you serious? Ew, what a wimp. <laughs> the music is still rather loud. Nice, just that. Wow, alright. Ah, D-Mine, thank goodness you're here. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I broke- I broken someone else's arm. Wait, you. You're with a state soldier? Huh? Let's get the hell out of here. But wait, what about your arm? Aren't you dying? No, I'm perfectly okay. And don't let me see your face ever again. Oh, you heard her. <laughs> I... I... D-Mine, I'm so sorry. Well, what, what did I say? You're not gonna let me respond? Are you alright? I'm not gonna listen to keywords anymore. Um, come again. 
Oh, come on. Fine. It seems you have to follow the keywords. What's the point? I was chasing something when I bumped up that person just now. I is he going to die? Am I a merger D mine? He's fine. Really? Are you absolute are you absolutely sure about that D mine? He lied. A lie? You mean his army isn't actually broken? But why? Why did he lie to me? Um do I really have to say don't know? Why if I say something else? Um Fine, I'll just for now say don't know. Oh, okay. D mine. Does he hate me now? He said we he never wanted to see me again. Am I am I a horrible thing? No. This is quite linear so far. I was hoping it'd be a bit more open. Like I don't know, I think I played a tech sparky game that was quite open. But he looks so angry, D mine. I wish I could have apologized to him properly. It's fine. D mine. W what about you, D mine? Are you, are you angry at me? Not really. <laughs> dot dot dot. Needs to add the dots. Really? You don't hate me, do you? Happy you that you are fine. Do I have to really type that? Fine. I'm just happy you're fine. D mine. Be careful next time. Okay, so there are times where I can make it. Wait. I have to type be careful with different words, right? Yep. The game didn't act like that. Alright. I will. I won't do it again. Thank you, D-Mine. By the way, do you know what I was chasing? It was black, hat ears like this and spoke a strange language. Like this. It's a dog. Huh? What? What? What does that mean? It's a chicken. Alright. It's a neko. Alright. You don't understand Japanese. Fine, we'll go... Kitty? Alright, fine, cat. A cat? Oh, fine, I think I have to follow this. No, no, never. It was what got me to th into this mess. Cats are terrible. What? Oh, come on. As a cat lover myself, I that's a minus one point already. Let's go, D-Mine. Where are we going to now? Home. Our private town square. No. <laughs> you begin to walk home with Melinda, following you closely. However, what happened? Suddenly, a string of explosions fire off from the direction of the marketplace. Hundreds of people run frantically away from the scene, flooding the town square. Oh? Huh? What ha What's going on? It's terrible. Just terrible. There's a fight between puppeteers going on. Honestly, can't these people go two minutes without something coming along and ruining my business? I know that the state puppeteer is just doing her job, but that just makes it worse. She's earning a living off blowing up other people's hard work. Imagine that. Anyway, the area is dangerous right now. You should stay away from it too, young lady. Um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't realize. Oh yeah, there's no difference, right? So they can't tell. The young woman leaves hurtly. A fight between puppeteers! I don't know what that is, but it sounds exciting. We've got to go see. Come on, D-Mine. And she runs off without me, right? There's no stopping Melinda at all. You follow her through the crowd to the source of the commotion. Alright, Pops. It's game over. There's nowhere else for you to run. Why don't you spare us all a whole lot of trouble and give it up already? Shadow Puppeteer. Give up? Give up? This country's rotten to its wretched core. I can't afford to send my kids to school. Hell. I can't even feed them right. You know why that is? Cause the rich and the state are, are only obsessed with one thing. Getting more of those filthy things you call dolls. Um. Okay, so what's that? how does that affect you? My job's hell. I don't even care for the business. But I do it. I do it so I can feed my kids and dream of giving them a better life. I gotta do it so my wife won't get treated like street scum, lady. You're asking me to give up? Oh, for goodness sake. 
You don't get it. You never will. Know why that is? Look up. You're nothing but a doll yourself, woman. Call yourself a puppeteer all you like. You're just a doll hanging on the state strings. You're a bloated, indulgent pig, the lot of you. They've stuffed you full of praise and fame and glory. But us, we get nothing. We are the, we are dear people. And we don't even get your scraps. All we eat is our own bitterness, our own resentment, our own anger, till it fills our bellies and our heads. Till we're so damn sick that we vomit it all out. Yes, till we turn into these creatures you detest. Wait, I don't get it. So what does the doll... Okay, so the, the state is, in, is obsessed over dolls. The creation of dolls. Alright. So how does that affect them? Come out, Shadow Shimmer. Oh. Stop it. You, don't you know what happens when you use one of those things? Shadow puppets aren't like normal dolls. When they die, they take you with them. Huh. Then all I have to do is kill you here and not die myself. Girlfriend. Mel, be careful, it's coming. You be careful, kitty boy. You're the one on the front lines. Well, I suppose you are. Huh? Why is he walking up to the... The... Um... It's dangerous to face something like that on your own. Alright, you know what to do. Show him how a real soldier fights, Gilly. As you wish. Alright. Got this. Like, manga? It would be inconvenient to black. <laughs> oh, I should read. <laughs> I thought it would wait for my clips. My flames are disappearing! Shadow Puppeteer. Who is it? I am merely a doll. I cannot solve your problems. But you have suffered and grieved enough. Allow me to offer you respite. Rest well. Shadow Puppeteer. Oh, that was him talking. Kill me. And he dies. Good grief. You wouldn't eat anything but your own anger and hatred and look at what happened. Now that you've thrown it all up. Don't you feel any better? Hmm? Can I? Is it possible for me to make it go slower? Auto forward? I guess goes down? Maybe. That speed of maybe down maybe? I know. Ah, hey, d my fancy catching... Oh, wait. Fancy catching you here. Wait. Hold up. Did I just name her Melinda? <laughs> wait, that cutie got that. Your new partner? Huh? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> now this is gonna be confusing. <laughs> I... Wait. Was this established that her name was Melinda? Did I... Subconsciously chose that name over the fact because I met her and her name was Melinda. Or did I coincidentally chosen both their names Melinda? God damn it. Alright. Melinda, the blue hat Melinda is all blue hat. And my Melinda is. Um, I mean, yeah, all caps. And my Melinda is only capital M, right? Gil, come over here for a sec. Hmm? Ah, D mine. Yeah, it's been a while since we last met. I hope you have been well. Look here, Gil. It's your new junior. She looks just like you you when we first met her. I kept you were a lot more uptight. Wait. Yeah, I'm not getting confused which Melinda will be talking now. Indeed. Oh, is she her doll? Indeed, she's ve the very picture of you when we first met, Lady Melinda. Only that you had more burning coals under your feet and she can't be dies. You're also a lot less pleasant than she is. You know that? How do you do? My name is Gilfred. Aid to the good lady Melinda. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh, <laughs> hello. But my name is Melinda. Um, how do you do? Whoa, there. No need to be so nervous, young lady. Gil. I'm getting really confused by the two Melindas now. Oh god damn it. Do I have to? Do I have to go back and change what I said? I might have to change your name. I really can't take. Two Melindas. God damn it! Whoa, there's no need to be sure of nervous young lady. Gil here might look intimidating, but he's actually a pussy who wouldn't hurt a fly. Likewise, Mel may fire daggers from her eyes, but they resemble toy daggers more than real ones. She's unable to hurt any flies, even if she wanted to. Hey! 
But that can't be true. You just defeated that big um something like it was nothing. What? What happened back there? What was that? Okay, I'm yeah. All right. I need to remember this. No caps. My Melinda. Caps. This Melinda. Well, what happened back there? What was that big thing? And what in the world did you do to it? Oh, isn't she adorable? You have fun with this, Gilly. That was a shadow puppet. A shadow puppet is a type of doll just like you and I. However, they are born from a different kind of magical energy. Only dolls such as yourself and myself can take them on. Dolls like us? Indeed. In that sense, what I've just now is nothing special. You are young, you will grow in time, and come to harness your own unique powers. The most important thing you can do right now is to acquaint yourself with your partner. Strengthen your bond and deepen your trust to do that and you will accomplish many great things. Strengthen my bond with D-Mine. That is correct. Gilly, I've secured what we need. Time to head back to the castle. Of course, Mel. I have a feeling her name was already Melina and I happened to choose Melinda. Oh god. Excuse me, but I must take my leave. Uh huh? You're leaving? Why? Please, do not worry. I have faith that you, that both you and D-Mine will become excellent soldiers. I am certain that our past will cross again soon. I'm going to be a soldier. Now then, good, good day to you both, Melinda, D-Mine. Oh yes, thank you, and good day to you, Gilfred. My pleasure. See you around, D-Mine. Good luck with that kid. Gilfred and, Mil and Melinda leave for the castle. <laughs> hey, D-Mine, what's a soldier? You've met them. Uh. But please don't say things like that. There's no way we're, that we're going to fight Shadow Puppet Chen. You mean that's what I'm really going to do when I grow up? Yes. D mine. To think that I was created for such a purpose. This is too exciting. I can't wait to grow up now. We're going to be the best soldiers ever. It's getting late. Oh, wait, it's getting late. You return home with your partner. I think I'm gonna have to change the name. I have to redo this. Good morning, D man. Wiki wiki. All right, let's save the game here. Slot one. All right. But that's it for this episode. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And follow me on Twitter at D Gaming. And I hope to see you again in the next episode.